think as we reflect on last spring, you know, and as we went into the fall, we really just, we drove the ball beautifully as a team, but with that, we didn't, we didn't capitalize. Our par five scoring was just below the curve. It was for the length and the way we drove the golf ball, we just were sloppy on the par fives. And, you know, you've got to be able to, uh, especially when the strength of your team is your length and your ability to put your ball in the fairway, we've got to improve on that. As we moved into the fall season, it has been a point of emphasis and our par five scoring as individuals and collectively as a group, you know, has really significantly gone down. And that's why you've seen us go up in the polls. I mean, you have got to be able, as a, as a college golf team, be able to score on the par fives. Correct. Emil Cerebo uh, just continues to just get better and better as a player. He is, in my opinion, probably one of the top 25 players in Division II golf. Um, he had a chance to win our McDonough Cup this past fall. He went to the NCAA regional as an individual. You know, he really kind of burst on the scene the spring of his freshman year when we put him in the lineup to go to the, the conference championship in the regional and has just really blossomed into a player. He was an average putter and has just elevated that to just uh, to one of the better putters in the country now. And he has a chance. Uh, we have been blessed with a lot of good players. He's got a chance, I think, uh, to play at the next level and really, really is understanding how to prepare and become a good leader. As we move through our lineup, Barry Babbitt burst on the scene, Jacob Vanderfleert burst on the scene uh, and had fantastic falls with it for us. Um, you know, we're fighting an eligibility issue with Tiago, who's been a terrific player for us, and we don't know how that's going to turn out. But Tomas Gavea, Matt Chamberlain, um, we've, got, we've got some nice players. Uh, Rafa Benoya has continued to be good. Seamus Fitzpatrick, not healthy right now, but hopefully we'll get him back in the fold. But the, the, the bursting on the scene of, of uh, Jacob and Barry have, are what have helped us springboard you know, right back into the top 20 in the country. Our ability to get our ball under par has, you know, I'm stating the obvious, but we were playing a lot of good golf last year, but we just didn't put any rounds under par on the board. You know, I talk about with our guys, we can handle the fluctuation of, you know, putting a 78 up there every once in a while, but we've got to get some rounds under par out of the 15 scores we get to post at a golf tournament. And if you looked at our scores this fall, you're starting to see that. You know, our schedule, you know, for our former players, people that follow us, it's very much the same as it's been. You know, we'll go to Florida Southern's tournament, which is a good tournament to start our spring, uh, be a great field. Every one of our fields that we'll play in, uh, you know, will we'll be uh, of the 18 teams in the event, you'll have 15 ranked in the top 25 in the country. Every event we go to seems like it's got a national championship or NCAA regional feel. I think some highlights for our kids, uh, the Southeastern Intercollegiate's a super tournament at Kinderloo Forest. It was Davis Love's first course that he ever built. They play a web.com event there. I think that course sets up well for us. And then a highlight for everybody though is when we go to Cuscoilla and play in Georgia Colleges Tournament. You get to stay in some neat homes right there on campus. The golf course is fair, but very, very penal if you make mistakes. And it's, uh, it's, it's something that our players look to all year long. Obviously, as we move from there, you know, we start playing for, you know, what we all practice for. That's a conference championship and the NCAA, you know, the right to go to the NCAA regional and then to advance the, the national final. The regional this year is at Mission Inn, uh, which is close by us. And, uh, you know, my teams through the years have had a lot of success there. So we'll point toward, uh, you know, getting a berth in the NCAA regional and seeing if we can't uh, play our way to the national final.